Hi, my name is Emil and I'm traveling with my wife Honey. We took the 11 p.m. joy bus trip from Baguio to Naia Terminal 3. Tickets cost 850 pesos per person. The trip was four and a half hours. We arrived around 3.30 in the morning and took a taxi to Naia 4. The taxi fare was 150 pesos. Time check. It is now 4.05 a.m. and we just got here at Naia Terminal 4. Good thing we arrived early because there's a lot of people traveling. At last, we are done with our flight check-in and now at the waiting area. We suggest you arrive 1-2 to two hours before your flight, especially if you have check-in bags. We got our flight tickets at Air Asia for 1,220 pesos per person and that is from Manila to Puerto Princesa, one way. Time check, it is now 5.40 in the morning. Our plane will be departing soon. Our scheduled flight is 6.10 in the morning. This is what we have spent so far. Bus ticket from Baguio to Manila, 850 pesos. Our flight ticket from Manila to Puerto Princesa is 1,220 pesos. And then the taxi from Naia 3 to Naia 4 is 150 pesos divided by 2, so that's 75 pesos each. And that's a total of 2,145 pesos per person. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at Puerto Princesa International Airport. We are pleased to inform that we have landed 30 minutes out of our schedule. The time will speak to the event is fancy of 6 in the morning. For your safety, please remain seated or simple fastened until the simple sign is switched off. Hi, Palawan! So we just went out the exit and um, we asked advice from the guard. He told us to walk straight since tricycles and pedicab. Was that pedicab? Multicab. Multi so we're going to ride a tricycle or a multicab. And then he said that just cost at around uh, 15 pesos per person or 10 pesos per person. So here it's usually expensive in front of the airport. So let's move forward. We're here at Puerto Princesa Airport and we're near the main, main exit. Uh, that's where we'd be asking more about uh, where to ride going to our hotel. Tricycle or a multi-cab. Oh, look what we found while walking and looking for a cab. Ouch. Yeah, let's go look for a cab because the first one we asked was 150. So we're going to walk a bit further and uh, look for a cheaper option. Actually, naghahanap kami ng tricycle and pedicab. Ay, multicab. Buti na lang, may mababait pong dumaan. Hello, te. Anong name nyo, te? April. Tsaka si ate. Si ate. Ananette. Hello po, te. Sila na pong tumulong sa amin papunta po sa hotel. Thank you po. Swerte! Tinulungan po tayo nila nila Nanette at si April po. April! Tinulungan po nila kami. Kakarating na namin na actually dito sa Puerto Princesa. Tapos kanina, nahirapan kami kumuha ng masasakyan na taxi. Sorry, taxi. Multicab or bicycle. Kaya sila naabutan kami. Yung tatanong sa kalsada, tinulungan po nila kami. Ayan. 
We booked our stay at Red Doors Plus near Rizal Junction in Puerto Princesa. We arrived 7.50 a.m. However, our rooms are not yet available since check-in time is at 2 in the afternoon. They have a waiting area and restrooms available for early check-in guests. What I like most is their function room. Here, you can relax, freshen up, or take a nap while waiting. To make the most of our time, we decided to leave our bags at the reception and head out for our first tour. We rode a multicab to Santa Lourdes. The fare is 25 pesos per person. Estimated travel time is around 30 minutes coming from the downtown area. Once you arrive at Santa Lourdes Pier or Honda Bay Wharf, you need to register at the local tourist association. The boat fee is only $3.50 per person and since it's just the two of us, we have to wait for additional companions to be assigned to our boat. Usually, the Honda Bay tour package is 1,200 pesos to 1,500 pesos, including transportation, lunch buffet, and entrance fees. If you are on a budget like us, you can commute, bring your packed lunch, pay for the boat, and island entrance fees. This would be much cheaper. If you don't have gears like snorkel and goggles, you may rent them for 150 pesos at the registration.
So what do we have here? What do we have there? Um, we have some shell, two fifty, okay. Some mussels. Snapper. Red snapper. Red snapper. Magano today? Nine eighty. Oh, that's nine eighty for the red snapper. Yung ito yung ano po? Four fifty yung tiger snapper. This is for four fifty tiger snapper. Ito yung talakitok jackfish, si Dory, si cuttlefish. Dory cuttlefish. Wow, this is. Magano yung cuttlefish na? Four fifty na sir. That's for four fifty. By the way, this is Starfish Island. We're at Starfish Island. So you can choose your food. You don't have to bring your food, then you can choose it here. They'll cook it for you. However, uh, for travelers here, you have to pay 100. Actually, it's 50 pesos per head per person. So, 100 pesos. The second island we're supposed to visit is Luli Island. The name came from Lulubog and Lilitao because its sandbar appears and disappears depending on the tide. Too bad the sandbar is not visible since it is high tide, so we will proceed to the next island instead. Last island on our list is Kauri Island. There's a lifeguard station in the Henna Tattoo area. You can rent kayaks and also there's lots of shade in this island from cottages and trees. If ever you get hungry or crave for some cold drinks, they also have a bar and restaurant on site. There's a massage area available as well. They also have toilets and baths where you can shower after swimming.
The tour is over, so it's time to head back to Santa Lourdes Pier. Here is our tour fee breakdown. Boat fee, 350 pesos. Starfish Island entrance fee, 50 pesos. Cowrie Island entrance fee, 100 pesos. With a total of 500 pesos. Running cost per person so far is 2,145 pesos from the previous expense, which includes flight, bus, and taxi. Then we have the multicab expense, which is 25 pesos from the city center to Santa Lourdes Pier. Then our tour fee of 500 pesos. Lastly, our pack lunch amounting to 200 pesos, which brings our total to 2,845 pesos. While waiting for a multicab at the registration, we had a chat with the personnel and they explained that the boat owners created the association so they can all equally benefit from tourism. Previously, they had more than 100 boats. However, due to Typhoon Odette, a lot of these boats were damaged. They used the funds to fix the boat so there would be more available. This is a good idea for the boat owners to recover and help each other out. Time check, it's 5.30 in the afternoon. We already checked in at the hotel and this is the room we got at booking.com. It's a double bed for 680 pesos per night. They have towels, basic toiletries, hangers, it's air conditioned and it comes with a television. The toilet is clean and has a hot and cold shower. Since we still have time, we will just prepare and head to Baywalk Park. The tricycle fare from our hotel going to Baywalk Park is 15 pesos each. Baywalk Park in Palawan feels like Baywalk in Manila Bay, but a little bit smaller. Most people hang out here to enjoy the cool breeze from the bay, and also there's a lot of food options to choose from. We decided to try out the food here at Cucina Sabaybay. We ordered the Boodle Fight for 2 to 3 persons, which is 490 pesos. It includes half chicken in a sal, mixed seafoods, rice, drinks, and free soup. So far, our running cost is as follows. So we had a previous total of 2,845 for our flights and tour. And then we spent 25 pesos for the multiple cab going back to the city center. And then from our hotel, we rode a tricycle to Baywalk for 15 pesos. Our dinner amounted to 490 pesos divided by two, so that's 245 each. And then tricycle going back to the hotel is 20 pesos. 
So that would bring our total to 3,155 pesos each. Join us on our day to experience as we try the zipline and underground river too. Again, I'm Emil. And I'm Honey. Thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Bye! Bye.